Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com with the latest news from what the press calls the science. One year ago, the press announced that the end of coal is in sight as COP26 deals take aim at dirtiest fuel. And they showed a picture of condensed water vapor, which is otherwise known as clouds. The reason this side of the clouds appear dark is because the sun's on the other side and is casting a shadow. I've never thought of clouds as being particularly dirty, but the press apparently has a different opinion. And one year after they announced the end of coal, global coal usage is set to reach a fresh new record. Apparently countries in Asia aren't willing to self-destruct like the countries of the West. Because the United Kingdom shut down their own power plants, they're paying Belgium 50 times the going rate to keep London's lights turned on. Last year, the press and Western governments were saying that electric vehicles were going to become mandatory and they were going to save the planet from climate change. But these same governments have made electricity unaffordable and now electric cars are no longer attractive to purchase. The good news, though, for car drivers is that, according to the press, getting their COVID vaccine lowers their risk for getting in an automobile accident. This information was published in the American Journal of Medicine. Science is truly amazing. It has been almost 19 years since the always reliable Guardian newspaper announced that Scottish skiing was doomed within 20 years. And this is what Scottish ski areas look like today. 25 years ago, the New York Times announced that most East Coast beaches of the United States would be gone by the year 2020. This is what the beach at Atlantic City, New Jersey looked like in 1995. And this is what it looks like today. The beach has expanded quite a bit over the last 27 years. The New York Times always follows the science. And so does their congresswoman, Alexandria Cortez. She's got a new movie out in the theaters about climate and diversity. Or in this case, it would appear to be the lack of diversity. During its opening weekend, the movie appeared in 120 theaters and grossed less than $10,000. Their ticket sales averaged out to about $80 per theater, which is maybe four or five people. In 1983 and 1984, I managed several movie theaters in northern New Mexico. Those sort of ticket sales would barely pay for the popcorn and butter, which they used at the concession stand. You might remember that Toto appeared in the movie in 1939, which was a very big box office hit, and people are still watching it now. But rumors that Alexandria Cortez's grandmother was in the movie are simply not true. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.